Heralds of Hope exists because of people like you. Um, there are seven of us on the staff, and I've often said if it were just those of us at the office, there's not a whole lot we could do. But it's through the prayers and support of people like you. Um, <clears throat> to us, you're family. You're part of who we are and what we do. And this, uh, I was talking with our brother here this evening, and uh, he was asking me, how did you get interested in Central Asia? Uh, last fall, our board chairman, John Sensnig, some of you would know him, uh, John and Jean, accompanied Joyce and myself to uh, North Carolina. And uh, we were at Transworld Radio's headquarters for a conference called Footsteps. And they bring in their regional reps from all over the world and uh, share about what's happening and what are the opportunities. And John and I happened to sit in a workshop on Central Asia. And we learned that Central Asia is one of the most underreached areas of the world. It's predominantly Muslim. And um, there's just not a lot of believers there, and there's not a lot of opportunity for people to hear the gospel. And it seemed like the Lord placed that burden on our heart. And so we came home and we talked to uh, the rest of the board and the admin team. And uh, as an admin team, we said to the board, uh, they, they gave us four languages. Uh, they gave us uh, Tajik and Uzbek and Kazakh and Central Asian Russian, or Russian, we'll just say Russian, okay? Because uh, that's kind of the trade language for that area. And we said to the board, we think we can do all four of those. And they said, uh, well, that seems pretty ambitious. Why don't you just go for three? Um, but by the way, if you can raise the money for the fourth one, you can do that too. <clears throat> to make a long story short, within about a month, we had three people come forward, three, three groups of people come forward, and those three languages were all sponsored for the first year um, to the tune of about $12,000 each. Um, so do we do the Central Asia broadcast, Central Asia Russian? No, we did. And um, yeah, and there's more things happening. And, and God, as Jeremy said at the beginning, God has just, it's like God has opened the windows of heaven and poured out uh, his blessing uh, in resources, in personnel. God is supplying the people and the funds and uh, we're just uh, hanging on for the ride. It's, it's, it's exciting. It's a blessing to, to be a part of it. I must admit, I told Jeremy the other day, it feels a little frantic. <laughs>